Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to achieve better shadows in exterior scenes using the essential parameters of directional light in Unreal Engine 5. Shadows play a crucial role in creating realism and depth in your scenes and by understanding and adjusting the key parameters, we can significantly enhance the visual quality. In this video, we will explore important parameters such as source angle, volumetric scattering intensity, indirect lighting intensity, and translucent lighting and ray traced shadow. So let's dive right in. All right, in the first place, I want to select this directional light actor from the outliner section and let's start with the source angle, which is beneath the light color that we got here. The source angle parameter determines the apparent size of the light source. By adjusting this value, we can control the softness or hardness of the shadows and a smaller angle will result in sharper shadows while a larger angle will produce softer and more diffused shadows. And experiment with different values to find the desired balance between realism and artistic style for your scene. And in this case, in my opinion, it is better to set the source angle on 2.3. And let's move on. And the next parameter that we want to go over on it is indirect lighting intensity. And this parameter determines the contribution of indirect light in your scene. Indirect lighting refers to light that bounces off surfaces and affects the overall illumination and color of objects and by adjusting this parameter you can control the brightness and color balance of the shadows making them more or less influenced by the indirect lighting and consider the overall lighting setup and desired scenes ambience when tweaking this parameter and in this case, the value of 4 would be okay for indirect lighting intensity. And then we have volumetric scattering intensity, which controls the amount of light scattering through the atmosphere. This parameter affects how light interacts with particles, fog, or atmospheric effects in your scene. By increasing the intensity, you can achieve a more pronounced scattering effect adding depth and atmosphere to the shadows and adjust this parameter according to the specific lighting conditions and desired mood of your scene. For example, here, when I set this parameter on 10, we have added a dusty mood to our scene, but it's not necessary to have greater amounts for this case. So let's set it on 1.3 and let's move on. And as you can see, I've expanded the advanced section in the directional light parameters and details. And here we have effect translucent lighting and enabling this option allows the directional light to influence translucent materials in your scene. Translucent materials such as glass or water often require realistic lighting interaction to enhance their appearance. And by enabling this option, the directional light will cast accurate shadows and illuminate translucent objects, creating a more immersive experience. And finally, we have this ray trace shadows option here. And Unreal Engine 5 introduces ray trace shadows, which offer enhanced realism and accuracy. And by enabling ray trace shadows, the engine uses ray tracing techniques to calculate shadows based on the scene's geometry and light sources. This results in more accurate and physically plausible shadows. And experiment with ray trace shadows to achieve the desired level of realism, but keep in mind that it can be more computationally intensive and may require a compatible hardware setup. And as a conclusion, in this tutorial, we've explored several important parameters of the directional light in Unreal Engine 5 that can greatly impact the quality of shadows in your exterior scenes. Thank you for watching, and I hope this tutorial has been helpful in improving the shadows in your Unreal Engine 5 projects. See you in the next videos.